Hey guys, what's up? It's Demise. Um, gonna be doing a repeat of last video of uh, Mummy Summoner Part Six because look, I wasn't happy with how that turned out. So created a new Mummy Summoner. Pretty much did exactly the same stuff. Pretty much everything is the same. Two big differences. I picked up a Grand Grimoire at some point, and also I picked up Deflect Missiles, and I have slightly less good resists. Other than that, though, everything is, oh, excuse me, <coughs> mostly the same. Um, yeah, everything's pretty much the same thing. Now, <coughs> I will say, you guys might be asking for an explanation as to why the videos have not been coming recently, and uh, look, honestly, I can't really say too much about it, but there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and, you know, the fact that the channel hasn't grown, uh, or it's not growing really at a great rate anymore, it, it has been very discouraging, so I've just kind of not given a shit. Um, well, it's not, it's not really that. I couldn't, I can't really say that. It's not fair. Uh, it's more just that, you know, there are other things in my life that I want to do, uh, and I have been pretty much putting them off for like, the last year and a half because you know the channel's been taking a good chunk of time and with it being less with me having these constant feelings that oh what the fuck uh with me just feeling that you know it's not worth it anymore just having to battle with that every single day it's just it got too much and i just didn't want to play anymore um so i just i just stopped i was like whatever i'm just gonna stop for a day uh and then you know once the days once that day rolled by i just couldn't bring myself to record another video. Honestly, I just, I legitimately just couldn't record. Um, I just didn't care. It was too much work. I was like, ah, I'll fucking do it later. Um, and it's honestly like this, this week of my, this last week where I just went silent was, it was alright for me. I played, uh, a lot of League to try to like, you know, grind up. Like I said, I, I've got a lot of plans, but I've always put the channel first, but now that the channel's kind of, um, slowed down in terms of interest and stuff, I, I'm happy to just leave it as it is. Um, I will put on my schedule, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll be, you know, uploading according to my schedule now, not, uh, not the channels, because it just, like, what, what's the point, you know what I mean? And that's not to say to you guys that do enjoy my content, I, like, you guys are the ones I apologize most to, because I can't really say much. That's probably the I'm gonna stop here. I'm actually gonna stop, just stop playing in general, uh, like right now, because, uh, I, I find there's no real point in having to, you know, talk through a situation, I'll just travel over here, I guess. There's no real point in having to talk through a situation, uh, potentially dying. You know, I might as well just slow down and not play it. <clears throat> but, yeah, look, like, the the reality is, uh, there's no, I just don't, I don't feel the motivation right now. Um, and, look, you can, you can whine all you want about, like, oh, this guy's just a fucking loser, he doesn't know what the hell is going on. But, you gotta remember that I put in like at least 450 fucking hours into this channel. You know what I mean? I put in a lot of time. And that's not, that's only including pure videos. I have 700 videos almost on my channel, I think. I have like 750 videos, I believe, uh, of about 40 minutes length minimum. Um, that's been really consistent over two years, or almost two years now. So like, you can't really say to me, oh, you know, this guy's just a fucking loser. He's like, oh, he's, he's whining because he's fucking, he doesn't, his feelings are hurt. I'm like, come on now. Let's uh let's let's be real here. I have uh I haven't taken a break in a very long time and I just I wanna do it. So I'm going to do it. Uh for those of you that say like, you know, just suck it up to the channel fuck off. I don't know, like I've it these arguments sound better in my head, well as they do always, as everything does always. Um but today it's just <laughs> Like, I don't know, whatever, like, who cares? You know what I mean? I'll, I'll get over it. Uh, I might record, I might go back to daily recordings, you never know. Um, but for the time being, I'm just not going to because, you know, it doesn't feel right to do it. I, it just doesn't feel right. Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. It doesn't feel right to record this many times, uh, this much for something that, like, gives so little back to me personally. Um, but like I said, I really, I really don't want to sound like I'm being, uh, you know, ungrateful to the people who have supported this channel since its inception. I'm still very uh, thankful for that, and for you alone, I will consider continuing. Like, if, like to be fair, I've been, I've been kind of stretching. Oh fuck! Please. Uh, this is not good. Okay, okay, never mind. The high priest died.
for like for that for you guys alone, I have been trucking through this for like six to eight months, so it's been a very long thing. But I can only last that long. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't do this forever. It's not sustainable. It's mentally draining every single day to make this channel work. And yeah, that's it. <clears throat> that's really it. Um, having said that, you know, like it's not like the channel is. It's not like the channel's gonna die. It's not like the channel's gonna leave. I just need to not record right now. I mean, I'll you you see like uh I was gonna say um in the description of the other video the uh how to win or general tips to an improvement uh series that I I was gonna do like more of those mostly. I was gonna focus on those for a while, but uh, I do want to finish up the Greater Player Run at the very least. Uh, we'll see what happens, what transpires out of that. But, you know, this series has been going on for that, like, for so fucking long. It's not even doing it's, this is the longest series of all fucking time. It, it's, it's being, like, it's 160 videos long. You know what I mean? It's, it's well in the hundred hour mark of videos. Um, it's a fucking long series. So it's just, that fatigue, it doesn't, I keep thinking, you know, if I take a break, the fatigue will, you know, wear down, but, it's just, it's just a grind. It's grinding. Oh god, another one. It's just a lot of work, so, you know. Once I get out of that, I'm hoping that um, <clears throat> things will be a little bit different, a little bit more interesting for me, but it's just hard because <laughs> the I, I, I was saying that like two months ago, and I'm still at Mummy Summoner. I still have to get to so much stuff. Oh, I, I left this floor because I hate this floor. This is the uh, weird elemental palace floor. I fucking hate it, so I just didn't bother. Uh, we're gonna go to depths. Ah, oh, this is another fucking golden eye again. Look at this shit. Like, what the hell? I don't know how many turns that was actually before I got unconfused. But god damn, that's very frustrating. <clears throat> um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, going going back to the to the whole. Oh, I need to do Wormbane too. Yeah, I picked that up because, you know, I found it on the floor somewhere, and I was really excited to use it, so I probably will. Um, I'm probably never going to have enough time to do it, though. That sucks. Eh, uh, whatever. Alright, well, whatever. We'll go down to Vault 4, and then we'll bribe the place, and we'll just do exactly what we did last time. I think that was fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mummy Summoner is actually very consistent. I think that this might be my mummy of choice from now on. It's only been 2 hours 35. It's actually winnable in under 3 hours, uh, which is insane for a mummy in general. It's also very consistent. I've died. I died once in like D2 or something like that on this combo, like uh, off recording, and then I this is the next character after that, I believe. So it is fairly consistent. Um, more so than you'd believe, because they actually removed a lot of the fire damage in, in the game. Uh, let's bribe vaults. Go downstairs, and we'll just teleport away. There's no reason to really fight this place. We kind of just want to walk away. Pull some guys towards us. Alright, cool. <clears throat> so our goal here is just kind of walk around a bit, you know, let stuff happen. Let the bribe take its uh, take its natural course and things. We don't really have to rush. We can just kind of let stuff be allied to us, and then we don't have to worry about it. Um, we're running out of mana though, that's a bit scary. But the important thing is we stabilize. And if we don't stabilize, we're kind of fucked. But that's fine, we'll just teleport around until we get some nice, quiet resting time. Alright, the stone giant is neutral to us, that's good. So the bribe here is, the only reason why we're really bribing is to make the dungeon, uh, make the vaults less oppressive against us. We want a lot of breathing room and bribe gives us a lot of that because it just randomly brings us allies and randomly turns things neutral because uh, we can probably afford to bribe one more time I think. Means we have one less bribe than last time for Zot, that's fine. <clears throat> I can't really do much about this situation here. I'm kinda screwed. Uh, okay, this shadow form, this shadow creature is really good. Another nice thing is that Gozag's uh, Another nice thing is that Gozag's like gold thing is actually giving us quite a significant boost in terms of our uh, combat stats because it's just randomly confusing, which gives us a little bit better stuff. So this this Wormbane here has actually given us uh, extra benefits. It 
as you can see, it was plus 12 before, it's plus 13 now. It levels up by killing dragons. Um, and the higher up it goes, it, the more you have to kill. I don't know if the lance is actually at full power. I don't remember what the actual, um, what the max power of the lance is, but I, it was really high. It was something really ridiculously high. Like, I don't remember exactly, but, you know. I know it's somewhere really up there. <clears throat> so I'm trying to kill, every time I see a dragon randomly, I just try to kill it, uh, to give myself a little bit more, you know, room to breathe. Like here, for example, I have, oh, damn, my summon killed it. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. It's a plus 13 lance. The base damage is crap, but it gives us RF and all that other crap too, so, you know, it's good. And Bribe is making it so that we have just a whole bunch of stuff to kill, a whole bunch of allies randomly. We also get, like, mad confusion. So, one thing I didn't mention about Gozag's coolness is that the gold on the ground actually has a chance to distract enemies. So the fact that we just kind of often confuse stuff randomly is very helpful for us. Okay, we don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, we really don't want to be here anymore. Let's back off. Okay, surprised they're just giving us this much room. It's really nice. Um, nothing in here is that good. I really want to, I should have gotten ugly things, summon ugly things, but, or well, summon horrible things, sorry, but, uh, I couldn't be bothered right now. That is the Amulet of Air, which is actually insane for this character, I believe. Um, we'll take a look at that. Let's see what these are. Faith and Rage, which is pretty garbage. Alright, well. Wait, do I really not have. Oh my god, alright, fine. We'll come back for the amulet. It's on an alarm trap right now. <clears throat> I don't really want to waste my time. Uh. Oh man, there is application too in the map. I just didn't get it. God, that's stupid. Alright, that's fine. We will come back to that in a sec. Uh oh, the. We accidentally berserk stuff. Whoops. Also, I picked up Monstrous Menagerie, which is a very nice addition to my uh, summons repertoire. It gives us a little bit of extra numbers, and it also gives us pretty good damage, which is very nice. Okay, let's just get a couple of guys with us. We want to kill this Shadow Dragon by ourselves. There we go. Now it's plus 14. It's pretty good. I, like I said, I f totally forgot what the actual percentage, um, what the actual max rate is, but. That's fine. Did we get it? No, we didn't get to kill it. <clears throat> Damn. Ideally, we we land the killing blow on all these things, but it's just too hard to count. Uh, too hard to like make sure that that scenario happens. I'm just kind of not worrying about it too much. If I kill an enemy, I kill it. There's no reason for us to be like super anal about getting the killing blow on every single dragon. There's no reason to optimize the damage that much. We're only using this for the RF and uh, the RC and such. Uh. Yeah, because Repel Missiles is available to us when we Wizardry, but it's not if we don't. Manual Short Blades piss off, let me that. Yeah, overall this is like pretty straightforward, the vaults, the whole vaults deal. Um, we need to get some allies with us to kill this Gold Dragon. Damn, we didn't kill the Gold Dragon again, that sucks, that's fine. <clears throat> so our bribe is running pretty low now, we need to be... A little bit more careful with how we play. I'm just gonna back off now. <coughs> I apologize if I'm coughing. <coughs> I always do this weird thing where I record immediately after just having something to drink or choking on food. <coughs> it's a really just great habit of mine. I don't know why I do it, but it just it gives my voice that timber that. Oh God, fuck! <coughs> Someone kill me. Uh, yeah, just it just you know it makes my voice just extra smooth. Uh, well, actually, extra rough, but, you know, same thing. Hopefully we can kill the Storm Dragon. If we land the Killing Blow, it's nice. Okay, that's actually... Okay, apparently the Storm Dragon isn't strong enough to power up this Lance anymore. So, as you get higher up in the slaying for the Lance, uh, which grows more powerful as you kill things, you actually have to kill higher hit dice stuff. So I'll probably be having to kill, you know, Gold Dragons or Shadow Dragons in order to get the, uh, the power up from the Lance. This is a very nice pickup for us, this extra gold. Um, it means that we might be able to get a second, uh, sorry, a fifth bribe in Zot, which you never know, might be useful. More gold's always good, um, with this character. You know, you never, you never really need to have, uh, this gold, but it's very nice to have it. It just means that you can be even more liberal with how you deal with, uh, the 
enemies in Zot and such. Like right now, I'm just getting so much. This is like, you can think of this as like seven free orbs of fire. It's just a very nice thing to have. And it's giving me a lot. Holy moly. Alright, that was like, what, 2,000 gold, something like that? In one, in one fell swoop? That was pretty good. Okay. So my, my current strategy here for killing these guys is going menagerie, menagerie into, uh, magic, anti-magic, uh, snake mono vipers. There we go. It's a pretty effective one. Um, menagerie tends to be a little bit weaker than vipers, honestly. Just because the stuff you summon is often just kind of poopy. But they do show a lot more damage. They tend to be a lot more damage, damaging than, uh, the, Mono Vipers. The Mono Vipers are there because they're anti magic, which is really insane. Um, but they're not, you know, they're not insanely damaging. They're okay. They're pretty good. But I would say that, you know, maybe, uh, two Harpies is a better deal than one, uh, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking because <clears throat> I just don't know what I'm saying. Oh man, okay. This is a very bad spot for us. Can we summon some extra stuff? It's a lot of stuff here. I just, I don't dig it. Oh wait, Bribe just like took care of like half of them. Huh. That's funny. See what I mean? Like Bribe is really strong. Especially in places like this. Where you get to just enjoy your life as things just walk away from you. Vaults is so heavily uh, crowded that pretty much every single fight you're getting like something out of Bribe. So it's very powerful. Just converting the dungeon to your own strength. Just absolute broken strategy. And here you can see that the hoppies and stuff, they die pretty quick, yes, but they do a lot of damage. And they kind of swarm like bats as well, which is really useful. Like even against a tentacle monstrosity, just two casts just rips it, rips them apart. Okay, just pull back. I think I'm not going to use the wand of, uh, the stuff of wizardry at this point. I think it's not that good. It's not giving us too much benefit. Sticks to snakes, there's just some random useless stuff. I guess we'll pick up the sacks of spiders, that's fine. That's the silver rune. Is there anything in here that we actually could want? Not really. Okay. Now, question is, do we really need more fighting and stuff? <sighs> I think we can turn dodging off. I think we should turn Evo on, honestly. I know that sounds weird, but um, if you watched last time's video, I probably should have used evocations in that spot. That I was uh, having trouble with. So, you know, it was definitely a spot where I could have used evocations. It wouldn't have saved my life, but it would have at least made me feel a little bit better. So, I'm probably going to train some evo this time to show that I have made some reform in that respect. Um, but, you know, I haven't. Plus two quick play. Wow, it's pretty good. I don't know why I have this rapier on me. I'll just put that away. I'll also pick up this uh, fan of gales. Not that I'll ever use it, but, you know. I like to dream. Maybe I will use it one day. Either way, this uh, this here Wormbane is really nice for us. Gives us RF, uh, gives us AC, gives us RC. Very useful. Um, let's pick up some extra spells, shall we? So I wanted to pick up some an ugly thing, some horrible thing. Where is that? Does anyone know where that is? Grand Grimoire. When did we drop it? We dropped in depth one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's pick up a couple of spells here. Hold on. Okay. So what would we want to, what would we want to pick up at this stage in the game? Apportation is a nice one to pick up. Very easy. We have seven spell levels left. Oh wait, we didn't have enough spell levels. That's why. Damn it. Alright, let's drop some in small mammal. Okay, now let's pick up horrible thing. Let's pick that up. Because that's going to be a nice finish to our, uh, wow, 30% fail, serious? Are you kidding me? Okay, with wizardry it's only 12, but that's still kind of bad. Okay, maybe we won't use that. Alright, fine. We just won't deal with it. Oh my fucking god. Um, hello? Please kill that. Also, I noticed one thing with Lightning Spire that makes it a little bit better, actually. If you press TW, it'll just shoot. Um, it's a lot easier than having to direct it to TA all the time. Uh, as in direct attack. Seems kind of, uh, weird, but, you know, it works. Alright, let's finish up. 
okay, okay. Now, I I did this. Like, the thing is, like, the, the annoying thing is, I did this already, I, and it wasn't the stress. This was not the stressful part um, for this run, which is the reason why I'm redoing this right now. But it's trying very hard not to spoil it, but you should go watch it if you haven't. It's very important. There we go. Nice. Alright. Uh, let's go in, and let's bribe the branch. Immediately that guy turns neutral, I like it. Okay, so this is a pain in the ass one. Um, this is a real pain in the ass. Uh, let's just dig here and hope that it works out for us. No, nothing turned allied? Fuck. Alright, fine. Alright, well, thankfully Menagerie is a very nice medium between Shadow Creatures high roll and low roll. Uh, which is nice for us because we want to have a consistent spell, which we don't really get to have very often. Uh, but in the in the last run, you'd notice that I'd use Shadow Creatures a lot because I want the uh, high-ish roll. Um, and I was really unsatisfied when it just kind of just summoned something garbage like, you know, Moth of Wrath or something annoying. So, ah, come on now. Here, if I summon a whole bunch of... Really? Nothing got bribed. Nothing got bribed. Whoa. Let's blink away from this. Just walk away. Alright, that's very unfortunate. We have to clear this floor because we want to secure those two upstairs. There's no reason why we wouldn't want those upstairs. But damn, that sucks. Oh, please don't berserk my enemies. God. Okay, I'm, I can already tell this is going to be a real pain in the ass Zot, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's just very unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. Okay, um, how are we going to do this? We have no real defensive options. I guess what we'll do is we'll go to wizardry mode. Oh, sorry, like, yeah, we'll have stuff of wizardry and just summon horrible things until the pain goes away. I know it looks stupid to walk off the staircase, but I need to like give my guys more space to move around right now. So one cast of horrible things just like annihilated that whole group, which is really good. That's what we want to see. Perfect. Let's get some more int. <laughs> We're level 21. Mummy wins are already like kind of rare, but having them be this low is kind of scary. Let's magic mapping just in case, but there's no reason to. All three downstairs are right next to this one, but I have extras, so I might as well. Alright, so again, we're going to go with the same idea. We want to just kind of walk towards the downstairs. We don't really want to go anywhere else. Um, this book here, Book of Flames, is useless. So we want to clear this uh, surrounding area because it's a bit scary. Alright, we didn't even get a goddamn stack off that. That's fine. We want to look for some of these enemies in case, you know, there's some dangerous boys that want to fight us. Seems clear though. Liking it. Liking it a lot. Okay, let's let's take some time and clear out Zot 4. I believe that's a good idea. Mm, it's not really that good of an idea. Um, it will do it, we'll do it, for safety's sake. This video is only 23 minutes anyway, we can afford to go a little longer. Okay, this is very unfortunate. This stuff is just killing my stuff. Uh, let's get ugly things around this stupid cob. So the ugly things here is really strong because it just lets stuff get off my case. It's just a really good get off me button um, because I'm always one move away from just being surrounding uh, from surrounding an enemy with a bunch of stuff and uh, me walking away really easily. Okay, good. Just kind of rest around. Sorry, walk around a little bit. We'll use the Lightning Spire here to just kind of distract. Okay, it's doing absolutely nothing. Fair enough. I roll on the Shadow Creatures though. Very good. Very nice. Very good. Okay. Bribe is really not doing its job yet, but that's fine. Oh, there we go. We've got a couple of extra guys for us. That's very nice. Uh, but that's that's good. If Bribe is not doing anything here, it's fine. It doesn't mean anything. It's Zot 5 where we really need to get the stuff to be bribed. And that's where I'm going to be blowing like a ton of money. Alright. Cool. 
got access to our other downstairs. There you go. Like, see, just having a random pack just go home. It's very nice. Very consistent. But, yeah, I, I always have my doubts as to whether it's going to work in Zot 5, but every single time without fail, it's just horribly consistent. Just insanely consistent. Right. This is annoying somewhat, so we're going to just endure. He can also endure, but that doesn't matter for us. Let's get some horrible things with us. Okay. Why is this thing in melee with me? Why are things being in melee with me? Why is this allowed? Someone stop this nonsense, please. Ah, oh, come on now. Kill him, please. Thank you. It's just like, it's so dumb that I have to be in melee with stuff when all my summons are on the screen. It's like, come on now. You can do better than this. Alright, so I saw a Cursed Toes mushroom somewhere. I'm going to be a bit worried about that, but... You know, we'll take it when we see it. We don't have to worry about it right now. Okay, there he is. Uh, let's get one set of Horrible Things. So Horrible Things is uh, one of those spells that's really good if you know, if you can appreciate the risk that it brings. It it has a chance of, like, stat rotting you, uh, to int, int rotting you, sorry. Um, but other than that, it's, like, one of the best summons, if not the best summoning spell in the game. It just swarms enemies really well. Oh, I have a lot of rings, by the way. MR Dex Slay MP9 Int 7 Ring of Loudness. Okay, so the Dex Slay is really good. I'm gonna put that on when the robe, when the orb run starts. Um, the Slay plus 4 can go. I don't really know I have it, but I have it. Okay, I'm just gonna bribe here. There's no real reason to worry too much about things. Okay, just grab some allies. Whoa, just grab some allies. Holy shit, okay, lol. Well. Um, alright, I'll, I'll take the time to explore this. Follow me, please. I want my posse to be with me at all times. Thank you very much. So again, we gotta see some more Gozag action. I just walk through this place with bribes. It's just fucking broken. Like, I, I, I will say, out of all the things that Gozag has brought, I think this is, like, I still, to this day, will recommend Gozag as, you know, one of those really exciting gods to play. Um, not the greatest first god to play, because he kind of breaks the sense of the game, how it works, but once you get used to it, once you want a really free win with a kind of exciting god, you know, Gozag's a very nice option. Just, Zot 5, man. It's just absolute pain to see Zot 5 get dismantled so easily. It's just, it hurts. It, it legitimately hurts. Uh, in a good way though, like not, like look at this shit, this is disgusting, I haven't even done anything yet, I haven't even used an ability to like, of note, I'm just gonna walk through and what are they gonna do to me? Like what the fuck? <laughs> Everything is on my side already, what? Oh no, I got teleported, thank you, I need, I always needed more allies, thank you. Oh, I agree, yes, me too! You know, I spent, you know, 20k on this fucking, <laughs> look at that old fire, he's my friend now. Oh, you're gonna be summoning stuff? No, no, you're not allowed to summon stuff. I didn't, I didn't say you could do that. I feel, I feel just so rich, just so, just so, god, this is disgusting. This has to be a bug. There's no way this is a bug. This is not a bug. Like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know what's going on right now. Who okay, cares? So I'm just gonna walk past these guys. Fuck them, what are they gonna do to me? I own this place. I fucking bought this place out. I own this joint, man. Hell yeah. Follow me, please. Oh, that's not good. Alright, let's teleport. Okay, it didn't matter. What? Why are we teleporting again? I guess we won't teleport. We'll read another teleport scroll. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. We'll pick up some of these scraps. There's no reason not to. I am kind of running low on money, but that's fine. Uh, we've, we've done what... Gozag's done what he needs to do. He's already basically full cleared this place for me. Very nice. And I can just, like, kind of chill now and wait. I can clear this whole floor, it doesn't matter. Like, it's fine. Oh my god, this is just so horrible. Who let this be a thing? Like, god. Just, why? I didn't even have to fight a single over fire. I think one of them wasn't my friend at some point. I just kind of paid him over. I just smacked him with some dollars and he was just done. Alright, 
Alright, <clears throat> let's take this Oberon nice and slow, guys. Because I don't want to lose another character to fucking bullshit again. Please. I have MR now. I have MR. Let's actually read a recharging scroll on on our, on our wand. And I think we'll do all this. If we get into a situation where things are actually kind of dicey, we will uh, take a little bit of time to consider our options. So here, you know, there's not too much stuff right now. I think we can get away with just running away. Especially with our boots of running. The hell wings are a bit of an issue because they can swoop. It's fine. We'll just take it slow. There's no reason to take it to, to go fast with this. Like, we've already won the game. Okay, nothing so far. It's good. GDO. Alright, one smoke demon and the upstairs there. I guess we'll just summon some stuff to get him out of our way. We'll also switch to the Wormbane. Gives us a little bit more defense. Uh, more resists and such. Alright, good. Uh, this is kind of an awkward spot, but I don't think there's... Oh, actually there's a better one. <gasps> oh, that is very unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. Okay, let's see what this is. You can hit it for up to 55 damage. Let's get Haste Agility right now with Gozag's ability. And we will switch to this Get Horrible Things. Okay. Just walk back. Just walk back. There's no reason to like fight him. We'll take it very slow. Okay, very nice. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's a Hellfire. Hell, uh, Hellion. He Hellfired us once. That's, that's fair enough. Okay. Let's get a couple of guys. There's no reason to go too crazy. Just rest until we see something. It's good. Alright. Gideo. Okay, that was a nice 5 4 skip. Very nice for us. Very nice. Um, let's dig here. So that was a bit scary with the heli, uh, with the pan lord, but it was fine. Uh, okay, I need to remember not to use shadow creatures now, so I'm going to move that to shift M so I don't accidentally do that. Because shadow creatures at this point is completely worthless. It doesn't help me. Okay, this is a very unfortunate um, path for us, but we should be okay. I think we can just afford to dig this whole thing through. There we go. Nice. Um, okay, we'll make our way slowly towards that downstairs, but we're not going to go crazy. Like I said, there, there is a good chance that Pan will just show up, so, like, exactly in that spot before, so I'm not... Okay, so what would I do? Summon horrible things? No. One menagerie is good enough. I was get two then. Be safe. All right, let's haste here. Haste and flight, I guess. Because why not? And we'll just dig our way through here and dig our way through here. Hey, nice and easy. There we go, boys. This is a three hour and fifty second game. That's pretty good, especially considering how slow I went with the Orba. Tw level twenty one win though. That's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, Mummy Summoner of Gozag, very reliable, very reliable indeed. I think that in terms of one of the, in terms of a mummy in general, I think it's probably, uh, one of the better starts with good god. Like, the Mummy Summoner is good. Gozag is really good. It's insanely good, actually. Uh, fixes Zot for you, so, you know, mummies don't have to go through that whole, oh shit, I have no fire resistance problem. You can just walk your way through. It's pretty easy. Um, so, yeah. I think that this is a legitimately good way to end out on, like, to if you're hitting that, like, difficulty curve in terms of your greater player run, you might want to actually consider doing Mummy Summoner first. First of all, it gets Mummy out of the way, and secondly, it's pretty consistent, so there you go. Um, as to whether I will be doing Cobalt Summoner tomorrow, I cannot answer that question. Actually, I can. I'm not going to be doing a video tomorrow. I have to go out. Um, Another reason why I haven't been uploading as frequently is because I've been taking a lot of commitments on recently, uh, with a whole bunch of real life stuff, and just in general, I just don't have time now. Um, 
my subjects in law in and my degree in general have just become uh, very onerous this time around. I've it's only been one one week. It's week one readings have already been like upwards of sixty pages. Uh, sorry, it's sixty pages for my week subjects for my shit subjects for law. It's even more. Um, but like yeah, I'm just getting really shafted right now by time. So <clears throat> I, I can't promise you that the video will come tomorrow, but I can promise you that I will get the series done. I will get the video, the channel back up. Just give me some time, guys. You know, show me some support, because as dumb as it sounds, I am a creature of habit, and I do like to see you know that my routine has been uh, supported. I guess I don't know. It it does sound very emotionally stupid. It does sound very vulnerable, but. You know, at the end of the day, that's how I've been seeing the channel, and the fact that it didn't grow was really painful for me for like a long time. Uh, so yeah, it's just been it's been really rough these last couple of months. But I haven't said anything because it didn't feel right uh, because it was very internal at the time. Nowadays, I'm a little bit with that with this break. I've been a lot more uh, open about it. I've been less caring, I guess, towards the state of the affairs of the channel, and I think I'll just continue to work on it until it grows more. Um, whether that be I continue to do my strategy series or whether it be that I continue to do my daily stuff, I don't know. Uh, it's really up to whoever is watching to determine, I guess. I will look at the metrics, I'll look at the stats, I'll see the intention, the, the, the retention ratings and all that stuff, the engagement. I'll be looking at all that stuff very closely over the next couple of weeks uh, and that will determine the way that my channel goes from now on. But, um, like I said, if I can go back to daily stuff, it just, it doesn't feel right at this time. Uh, it just doesn't feel like I'm putting in, uh, I'm getting enough return, like, personally, like, from my perspective, I don't feel like I'm getting enough from it. Like I said, you shouldn't feel entitled to give that to me, but that doesn't mean that I'm entitled to give it to you either. You know what I mean? Like, if that makes sense? Uh, I, I, it's a, it's a, it's a symbiotic relationship. You guys watch the content. I make the content. If I don't feel like there's any point in making the content, then I won't. But at the same time, I'm not asking you guys to watch my content because then I'm not holding this channel hostage. I'm just saying, for me, it doesn't feel like it's worth it. So that's why I just stop. Um, but I, I am, I'm not a person that's going to hold a grudge against my own channel. That's stupid. Um, I'm going to continue. It just doesn't, like, I'll do it when I feel like I need when when I feel like it's appropriate, when I feel like I have an inspiration, uh, other than the greater player run, I still have to finish Cobalt Assassin, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm, I'm rambling now because, you know, I, I have been thinking about all these things and talking about it has been really rough for me uh, in the last couple of, for a long time actually. Uh, even all the way before we were 1k subs, I was already like considering stopping just because of how much trouble it was giving me to like upload a video. Uh, but you know, I don't say these things. I, I I do feel I do feel like my videos have been very negative uh, in the last couple of months, and I'm, I'm, I apologize, but I can't do anything about it. It just it's the way that I've been seeing it, the entirety of life. My whole life has been framed around, it, so I just can't. And it's not just the channel; it's like other things as well. It's been a lot of things that I haven't talked about that have been really personal, but I just don't want to say anything because you know that's just the way life is. This is not my diary. This is just a channel. You know what I mean? Even though even though technically it is, it is a record of my life, it's just, it's not just that. It's also, you know, a community space, a place for people to come and talk. Uh, I've probably lost sight of that at some point. I think I have lost sight of that, but I will, I will work harder and I hope you guys join me for, you know, what is going to be an improvement in the series, uh, in the channel, just all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of things that I, I do say that I want to do, and I just never do it, and this, the channel's starting to feel the effects of that. So, you know, I've probably said the same thing about a hundred times uh, in different words, but um, you got to understand that this is what I've been doing for about 24 hours a day uh, for like the last six months. It's it's been a very long long time. Um, this is like tell all secrets, but not really. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm getting kind of sick of it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you staying here for the whole time. I appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, if you want to talk more, uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to talk to me specifically, leave a comment, or you could talk to me on Discord. I'm open for that. A lot of people have actually been messaging me on Discord. 
uh, recently asking about where I am and stuff, and I, I have been responding, but I just, you know, I just didn't a lot of the time. Like I was trying to stay silent, but if someone messages me on Discord, I will, I will try to respond. Uh, or if they even message me on YouTube, but that one doesn't have notifications. Ah, oh, fuck! I'm, I've been, <laughs> I've been rambling for like ten minutes. Fuck that! All right, I'll see you guys.